All right, guys, welcome to the channel. I wanted to go over a, a topic that I'm not seeing a lot of discussion on uh, online or social media, YouTube, basically in the fishing community in general, especially here in California, um, obviously because it's where it affects the most. But I'm not, I'm not seeing much about it, and I just wanted to go over it because I don't think a lot of people know that this is potentially going to happen, but there are some proposed changes um, in the near future with um, the statewide fishing regulations, uh, a lot of it affecting some western and eastern Sierra fishing fisheries. Basically what's going on is they're going to reclassify what is a general um, fishing section, basically, um, which is called 7.0 statewide, which would be year-round fishing, five fish limit, and no restrictions on the gear. Then there's 7.50, which is special regulations, and we'll go over what those are. But um, particularly speaking for the Eastern Sierra, as depicted in the Sierra Wave article, there are some concerns about some of the options that are now open to fishing after if this goes through, um, which is supposed to be completed right here by June of 2020. Um, and there's some other stuff that we'll talk about, but... Let's go th and check out some of these spots, and you'll see why there's some concern. So, like, spots like uh, Convict Creek will be open, see? So now it'll be under statewide regulations, which means year-round. So basically from the study area um, to the lake will be open. Uh, Cottonwood Creek down there by Olancha, year-round. Cottonwood Lakes, year-round. Um what a hike that would be in the winter, huh? Uh, Crooked Creek, all year. That's over there by Crowley. Crowley Lake, not affected. Now, with the typical, there's some lakes that are not affected that you would think would be affected by this. And I think a lot of the hype around this is that, oh, no, you know, you're going to fish out all the main lakes up there because it'll be open year-round. Well, let me stay tuned on this video because we're going to get to all those lakes. But um, I'm just going to show you some of the list of the ones that are in, in the immediate known that will be affected. Uh, Hilton Lake or Creek is another one from Crowley Lake Drive up to the mountains there. The base of the mountains will be year-round. Um, this is a cool one here. This is one I actually like. Um, Inyo County. Um, so basically from right here at Independence Creek. So basically Independence Creek and South to the border and west will be open. So that includes Independence Creek, Lone Pine Creek, you know, and there's a lot of little creeks in the middle there that you guys probably know or don't know, but you should go look them up because they're gonna be open year round for fishing. Hopefully that means they'll stock more. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see. This is one that's gonna touch a nerve, I think, with the new regulations, which is Kerman Lake. Kerman Lake is a famous uh, brook and cutthroat trout fishery up there near Bridgeport, but it's going to become year-round. It's going to be a year-round with artificial and 14-inch minimums. So that'll be interesting. Laurel Lakes is another one. That's a golden trout fishery um, way up in the mountains. And uh, this one even tough to get to in the summer with snow, uh, but it will be open. So you can snowmobile up there. Uh, Levining Creek, another one that's kind of interesting. Uh, McGee Creek will have a spot from upstream from the 395 to the mountain. So it seems like Hilton, a lot of the tributaries to Crowley Lake will become open year-round in certain sections. So uh, we'll see how that plans out. They mentioned Owens Valley, a lot of the Owens River, but a lot of that's been open anyway. They're just reclassifying it to the state regulations. And then there's a few spots where they're changing bag limits and um, like right here uh, up there near Benton, they're changing bag limits and stuff. So they're going to uh, all year, but Euro fit, a, a zero fish bag limit. Uh, let's see, Parker Creek, uh, that's up there by June Lake Loop area. That'll be open year round. Uh, let's see if there's any other key ones in here. Topaz Lake will become year-round. Right now that opens up. It closes and then opens up January 1st. That'll become just year-round. So that's basically the list of stuff that's directly affected. But let me show you guys the actual list. This is the, and I'll drop this in the link below, but 
lakes like Lake Mary and uh, let's see, let's find another one. Um, some common Sierra spots. I think like Rock Creek Lake. So what you guys should see is right here on the right side of your screen here, notice that it's cl their proposal is to close it at, at back to uh, uh, Halloween. And, you know, some time ago, so many years ago, they opened it later. They extended the season to the 15th of November, but now they're talking about walking that back. So while there are some spots that will be open year round that didn't used to be, now there are some spots that are going to be closing earlier and they didn't used to be. So that's interesting. So I don't know how that's going to play out. Um, I, I don't like that. I don't like that they're talking about closing these spots earlier. That's ridiculous. Um, I would I would actually hope that they would stay open later. Maybe they would have extended. But see here is like Lake Sabrina um, closing 15, two weeks, two full weeks earlier, um, which is kind of like I said, that's, I don't know about that. So there's a few spots like Rush Creek. They're talking about um, Saturday preceding Memorial Day through September 20th. So shortening the season big time on some of these spots. And um, so that's interesting. So anyway, uh, that's it, guys. That's that's the main thing. I want you guys to see one more key thing with this, that they are still taking um, input on this. It's not over yet. And it says right here, the fishing game is still taking consider the proposal regulations. And um, this will be right here. It says this will be the final time for public to have input on these proposals. And they give um, a link up here uh, right in here. So they're going to have meetings um, where you can go to the meetings and they'll all be in this link right here. So I'll put the links to these websites and articles in the description below. But I'm I'm curious here, you know, right here on this channel, why don't you guys post up what you guys think about these changes and and what you're worried about or not worried about or happy about or not happy about. I'm interested in seeing what you guys think about all of this. So anyway, uh, that's it. So some changes coming probably. And um, as you see, they're they're editing this. This was edited up here. It says January 20th up at the top here. So they're constantly editing this, and I think they're going to continue to edit it. And if they uh, update it or change something big, then I'll post up. But So comment below. What do you guys think? 